read the Bible, the word holiness is used in two ways. Holiness before God and holiness in our daily life. But it seems we use this word mostly related to God. We talk about holiness only when we praise, pray, or do something like worship. However, this is not enough. The Bible emphasizes the same importance of the holiness in our daily life very much. Moses received the promise of Decalogue on Mount Sinai. It contains ten commandments. The first through the fourth refer to the relationship with God, and the fifth through the last talk about God's people's social relationship with others. To serve only God and to cherish God's name is to serve Him with holiness. Not only this, attitudes like honoring one's parents, not stealing someone else's things, or not telling lies are also a way to live a holy life. Listen to this verse from Leviticus 19.3, which says, Each of you must respect your mother and father, and you must observe my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Contrary to the order of the Ten Commandments, Leviticus tells the holiness related to the parents first. Today's passage helps us understand about the holiness of daily life. For example, here is a story about how a farm worker could live in a holy way. A man who raised grain begins to harvest. However, God commands not to reap to the very edges of the field. Do you know why? Yes, God cares for the poor and the wayfarers. It is interesting that God does not confirm the size of the edges to be left. God does not care about the amount we offer. Just like this, He is only interested in our attitude when sharing to someone in distress. This is the lifestyle that is holy. Please remember, boys and girls, holiness is not only about a religious way of life, such as worship, prayer, or praise, but God pays close attention to our holiness in daily life such as relationships with parents and neighbors. When we change our viewpoint like this, we can renew our interactions with parents and friends in our daily life.